Let's give a huge Chef United way welcome to a current Blades international defender, Anel Ahmed Hodic. I hope. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how did I do with your surname? Uh, okay. It was okay. <laughs> Still didn't get it perfect. All right, you say it. It's Anel Ahmed Hodic. Yeah, uh, that's what yeah, I said. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> First and foremost, it's absolutely fantastic to speak to you. But I need to ask you, first of all, how are you feeling at the moment? Because we know you missed a little bit of football before the uh, before the break. I think two days before uh, the Burnley game, I started feeling a little bit unwell. I started sweating at night, but during the day I was feeling fine. And uh, the game came against Burnley, I felt fine, played it fine. Day after, I felt like shit. Uh, still sweated a lot during the night. Then uh, felt fine during the day of the Rotherham game. Uh, game came. I, I made one sprint in the game and it took me like 10, 15 minutes to recover. So it was like, it was really hard for me to run. And uh, I got tested. Uh, my, my blood got tested and it turns out I had glandular fever. Oh, uh, right, okay. not, not, a good, not a good illness to have that. No, oh, yeah. Do you, want to reel, do you want to reel off the illnesses that are good to have, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the main thing is, are you feeling better now? Yeah, yeah. I've been feeling good for like a week now, a week and a half. So I've been training uh, after the break we had, uh, trained from day one. So I've been feeling good. And the, the break came in good time. I also had a scan on my spleen uh, to make sure I can play and trained so it's it's all good for now yeah yeah good this break has come because of the world cup so are you enjoying the world cup yeah pretty much yeah i'm i'm also really happy to see uh some of the players i've played with play and uh, especially now element so i'm really happy how well it's going for him as well yeah you uh, were we talking off air about who you're going to be supporting um and uh yeah who who did you say main team now is senegal Senegal. Yeah, all Senegal, aren't we? Yeah. I mean, at the time of recording this, absolutely, we've just watched Senegal. England haven't played Wales yet. We don't yet know who England are going to face uh, if they get through in the next round, because, of course, it could be England-Senegal. And then I don't really want to be on record saying I'm supporting Senegal. <laughs> yeah, well, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so, more importantly, because we're talking longer term, how are you enjoying life as a Sheffield United player? I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I come every day into training with a big smile. Uh, I just buzz off uh, a positive environment. Everyone's, everyone's positive and you can really tell. And we just, we just can't wait to get like, uh, the season started again against uh, Huddersfield. And we're already preparing for that game. Fantastic. We're going to be talking more about your time at Bramall Lane soon. But... How do you feel um, your move's gone up to now and, uh, and, and the city of Sheffield, have you taken to it well? Uh, yeah, the, the, city is, the city is great. You have, you have some nice restaurants here. To be, to be completely honest, I don't like traditional English food. It's not great. <laughs> A lot of people <laughs> say that. Though. Well, it's the finest cuisine in the world. <laughs> Beans on toast. <laughs> <laughs> La, uh, but uh, the the international restaurants in Sheffield is great. So they, 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 <laughs> the thing you like best about Sheffield is the restaurants from overseas. <laughs> yeah, I well, wouldn't put on record which restaurants you like to go to because I would. You'll, you'll get free Sheffield... meals. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say a lot of Sheffield United fans will probably head there, so uh, you can tell us afterwards. <laughs> Yeah, I can't, it's a win-win for the restaurants, to be honest. I think if you do want to start listing them, we'll then get in touch, get some sponsorship on the channel as well. <laughs> uh, what about for Sheffield? How does it compare with Malmo in Sweden? I don't know. I would compare it more to uh, Sarajevo in Bosnia because it's a lot of hills. Of course, in Bosnia, it's like uh, it's a little bit uh, older. Here it's, well, it's actually quite a little bit old here too. But, uh, it's pretty old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I would say the the biggest difference is probably in Malmo. There's a, it's a little bit more modern. What's it been like for someone? Because you, you're so young and you've lived in England, obviously in Nottingham before Sweden, as we've mentioned. You know Bosnia, Denmark, France. You've been to a lot of places at such a young age. 
No, I mean, you get a lot of experience from that. Uh, I had to learn how to take care of myself, cook, everything like that, um, live like a professional. And I did learn all of that when I moved to England uh, when I was 16. Uh, and I keep saying it and I will still say it. Uh, it's the best decision I've made to go to England when I was that young. Because if I didn't go, I wouldn't have all this experience I had by age of 23. And I'm really grateful for that. And luckily, for the last uh, years, I've had my wife uh, taking care of me. So that's been helpful. Also, yeah. congratulations, by the way, are in order. Congratulations. Thank yes. you very much. Thank you. I need to ask you, when did you put your tree up? Because that is a bold statement going up so early. Don't say that it was before my birthday. When was your birthday? I mean, I'm shocked you don't know that. Uh, 20, <laughs> 25th of November. Um, yeah, it was before that. Oh, oh I know. <laughs> I know, I know. Listen, listen, listen. I had, I had a reasonable explanation for that. My family from Sweden was coming over and uh, I have a nephew and uh, he really loves Christmas. So I was like, let's put it up for him. That's that's tugging on your heartstrings there, Hal, because Hal absolutely loves his nephew. So you've got nothing yeah. to, to say back after that, have you? Fair enough. I'm with you on that. My <laughs> nephews for my birthday, um, which is a month before Christmas, sent me uh, photos of me with them in this massive photo frame. And I cried my eyes out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I can right, totally let's, relate. <laughs> right. Let's get off that. Let's talk about you, NL. So who did you support growing up and, and what positions did you play? Because... I think you could play absolutely any position for Sheffield United. Uh, my my first and biggest idol ever is Zlatan Ibrahimovic, uh, of course. Uh, he came from the same area as me, roots in Bosnia as well. So it was easy to support him. It was easy because he was a great player. He still is, by the way. Uh, he, had, he had everything that I want football uh, players to have. Like, he had all the attributes and his... Uh, mentality and everything was it was amazing and uh, to see someone succeed that way from where I come from is like a big thing because it didn't seem that possible when you were a young kid and when you see someone do all of that everything is done it's, it's crazy and it makes you makes you hopeful and I'm really I'm really I'm really glad I had him as a idol and what positions did you play as a kid then have you ever played up from yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, nah, I think like we've seen. Yes. I, I, I think when I was like 13, I was playing centre back. Then I got a yellow card for being too aggressive. Then the coach put me as a striker so I don't get more yellows. And then I scored a hat trick second half. And then I started playing as a striker. I was thinking you were going to say, and then I got sent off. But uh, but no, obviously <laughs> the, the hat trick. Yeah. yeah. And then I, then I think I played striker for like two years. Scored plenty of goals, I think, if I remember correctly. And uh, after that, I don't know what happened. Just got uh, sent back to centre back. Hey, Nick, it happens to the best of us, right? End up in defence. <laughs> it always does. It, it always, always does. With her eventually. Well, a great idol, by the way. Since I've moved into my new house, I've needed a Zlatan Ibra dimmer switch because this is as <laughs> the lighting here is the lighting here is terrible, um, but yeah, what a player! That joke. I've had that, in, I've had that in the chamber for quite a while. Uh, you know, you shoot your shot, and I think that worked. Now, you represented Sweden at youth levels. So, what was behind your decision to play for Bosnia and uh, Herzegovina? So that year, I think I made uh, I played a friendly for Sweden in the first team, and it went well. I played well, um, but uh, in the summer I got a call up from Bosnia saying they want me there, and uh, it's a dream, you know. Uh, it's it's uh, it's very it's very personal, a very personal reason I chose Bosnia. It's just because of the the feelings I have towards uh, Bosnia. I think that's quite similar to Ilian and uh, I was thinking him, that yeah, uh, representing Senegal instead of France. How much of an influence has Jack Lester had on your career and your decision to join Sheffield United? I think he was one of the uh, main people from my first time in, uh, in Nottingham Forest that really shaped me for becoming the footballer I am today. He was really on to me. Uh, it was, there was a lot of screaming, shouting and stuff <laughs> like that. 
but in the end it was all to make me a better player and i think when you're that young sometimes you can have a hard time to realize why 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 they're onto you so much like the coaches and stuff like that but when you get get older you realize it's for the better and uh i wish i wish all young players can have that same experience uh, it makes you really grow as a player but also as a person what about the funniest player in the dressing room who is it the funniest mm. there's either a lot or a little with this answer <laughs> no, there, there, there is quite a few they, I don't know. are you up there would you say you're up there yeah i would be up there yeah yeah of course, I think naturally so. <laughs> I'm thinking I've heard um, Ben Osborne's quite funny. Yeah, but it's not really my type of humor that <laughs> that non-humor type of humor. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, his humor is like really British. Uh, what about Chris yeah. Basham? A lot of people have said uh, Bash is funny. Yeah, he's funny. He's funny. So who's your best uh, friend in the changing room or or if have you got a group of of really close friends? I speak to all of them like like that, but I don't know. I would say maybe Sander, maybe Illiman, yeah, maybe Rian. The younger lads and incredible choices as well. Hmm. Also, which teammate has surprised you the most of their ability? Like before you joined, you maybe knew some of the players, but you've seen them in training and be like, I didn't know he was quite as good as that. You know my answer is Illiman. Yeah, he's amazing. Yeah. yeah, incredible. Yeah, is anybody else that that you uh, thought? Because Illy is just great, anyway, isn't he? So, is there anybody else that you thought, "Wow, look at where's that?" Yeah, coming? actually, actually, uh, Norwood. Uh, yeah, he's very, the, he's very good the at ping. Yeah, he's very good at pinging balls. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, we uh, we love love a bit of Ollie Norwood on this channel. The um, player with the worst taste in music in that dressing room. I, I, I don't know who it is, but someone keeps putting house music on. Like in the no. morning, you come in a little bit tired from hard training okay. the day before, and then you just come in <laughs> at nine o'clock in the morning and you hear uh, house music. <laughs> I get that. I get that. I do like house music, but yeah, that yeah. early on, I don't know what I want to listen to really. What do you want to listen to at that time in the morning, or is it just silence? I don't know. Maybe I, I would like to listen to music, maybe R&B or something like that to get you going, but I wouldn't really put house music nine o'clock on a Monday morning. <laughs> no, is that George? No, is that I think George it is George. George. I think it is. I think George. that's that's classic George. Now you need a bit of Kenny G at that sort of time. Uh, you work, you work up to house music. That's an afternoon music. Yeah, uh, what about? <laughs> I don't know what I'm on about. That's that um, afternoon music. That's, that's afternoon such a music. Thing to say. <laughs> I'm old now. I'm allowed. Yeah. Um, what about when you've won a game? Your favorite post-win meal at one of your international restaurants or one that you've cooked yourself? <laughs> Probably my favorite meal after a game is uh, when my when my wife uh, makes me steak, which is ah, which nice. is lovely. When you do have steak, what, how do you have it? I I have it. Um, what are they called? Filet. Filet. Yeah. Yeah. Filet steak. Do you yeah. have it medium, medium rare. Well done. Um, when I cook at home. It's more towards uh, uh, well done, but it's mm -hmm. like mix. It's like medium, almost well done. Yeah. Medium but plus. In a restaurant, in a restaurant, I just have a medium. You know, if you go to a restaurant and you say medium plus, and they know what you're talking about, it's a classy restaurant. That's the perfect yeah. medium plus. Try, try it next time. Yeah. Okay, I will try. Um, before we move on to talking about kind of uh, the fans and how they've taken to you, uh, I just wanted to ask you how many goals are you want? How many goals are you aiming for towards the end of the season? <laughs> a centre back that has a goal I, tally in the mind. <laughs> <laughs> I would have said for a centre back three or four, but you've already smashed that. So what what are you going for? 10, 15, 20? twenty? I'm aiming to score in every game, mm -hmm. but Fantastic. obviously that won't happen. Um, not with that it, attitude yeah it could <laughs> it's going to <laughs> so no, 46 I, I actually, <laughs> the start of the season <laughs> i actually do aim to score every go every game but 10 maybe i, I said 15 i said 15 but, that's uh, the zlatan in him 
That is the Zlatan. You should have a little bet with Billy Sharp because at the start of the season, if you'd asked me to guess who'd score more goals, you or Billy, obviously I'd have said Billy, but it looks like it's going to be you. <laughs> you never know. The season's long. It is long. What's been your favourite goal so far this season? Probably against Sunderland. Okay. It was Yeah, right in the middle of the box. Towering yeah. header. Yeah, I remember because it was also my first goal. But also, I remember running on the wing once and crossing it. And uh, I fell over off the commercial thing where it was like <laughs> over the ball. And then they were taking the piss, and I was just <laughs> laughing. I was like, I was thinking my head just wait. And then yeah. I spoke, and it was like, it was amazing. Yeah, oh, that brilliant. is brilliant. I, w I was gonna say, um, so the fans have really, really taken to you. What did you expect to, to have that sort of uh, connection with the fans so quickly? I wasn't really thinking much of that at the start, if I'm gonna be honest. I was thinking mm. mostly of performing. And uh, obviously, when you perform, you the fans will love you. So that was the only thing that was on my mind to perform. Excellent. So this is an open forum to you, for you to say exactly what you want. Is there anything that you want to say to the Blades fans right now watching this? Um, watch out for the goal against uh, Huddersfield that's going to come. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like <laughs> you it. can tell there's a little bit of Zlatan Ibrahimovic. <laughs> In Arnel, and I like it. I like that confidence. It's not arrogance, it's confidence because you've already delivered, and so we know it could happen. Yeah, you're gonna have to deliver it again then. <laughs> yeah, you basically set a marker down for yourself. We didn't put words in your mouth, but watch out, <laughs> Huddersfield. And this is gonna be all over social media when that happens as well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we absolutely will. Yeah. <laughs> we can get quite a bit of mileage out of that, but uh, good luck uh, for the rest of the season. I'm just going to say it the way I've always said it. Anel Ahmed Hodzic, thank you so much. Good luck with not only the rest of this season, but honestly, both of us, the whole rest of your career, because I know that the sky's the limit for you. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure to be here. Thank Thanks, you. Anel.